Warning! The following video was produced while it was super high. If you are judgy, that this ain't for you. Of course, now you're going to want to watch it because no one wants to think they are. See what I did there? If you don't know me, I'm a former asshole turned happiness seeker. Also, I had a mental breakdown, and these are the stories I tell myself daily. Welcome, my fellow crazies. Here. I went, I took the kids to PetSmart and I got Dylan a hamster. Even though, I'm sorry, what? Even though we said we wouldn't get them one. Here's a picture. I'm sorry, what? A hamster? We talked about this. We said no more animals. What the fuck? How am I gonna tell them no now? He already gave it to them. I can't do... <laughs> First of all, when did my husband stop being scared of me? That's the million dollar question. And what did I do to deserve that? Okay, number two was something else. And then I lost my weed pen. That's the life of a pothead, okay? Sometimes you forget where you leave it. Number two, because when you're, when you're on weed, you get distracted. Don't... Be mad at us. But can somebody make me, like, I smoke a lot of weed. Can somebody make me one, like, from the 1920s so it looks all sophisticated and I can hold it like this? Okay, thank you. There's a point to this post, and sometimes when you're high, you forget. And you have to, like, pause and stop and think really hard. That's where I'm at right now. I'll be right back in 10 seconds. Number two. I don't like it when it's winter. It's cold outside, and... I like to drink wine coolers, and wine coolers are cold. And you guys know I run cold. So if I have a wine cooler that's cold, and it's cold outside, and I'm cold, then I'm gonna be colder if I drink it. So I had to put Kahlua in my Frappuccino. In my Frappuccino, that's cold. So I could be drinking a wine cooler. I just realized that. I keep saying number two because I'm trying to get back to it, okay? So, look, y'all know I like to clean, I'm weird. Okay, I had a mental breakdown, but I always like to clean, actually. Anyways, I'm, it's not that I'm upset that he bought it because it's another animal I have to clean, or I don't care. No, I will clean it. It's that he took all the credit by himself. That's messed up. You know how hard it is to feel like a good mom sometimes? That's, that's messed up. So I get it. I get why he took it. I, I get it. I get it. But you know what? Hashtag challenge accepted. He unknowingly just issued who is the best parent challenge with me. And I'm not gonna tell him we're in this challenge because I wanna win. But is this what it's come down to? Is this what the quarantine just done to me? I have imaginary wars in my head with people that don't even know so that I can win. My dad would be ashamed of me. My dad would be ashamed of me. The point is, I want to be the better parent, okay? I want to be the better parent. I quit to stay home with my kids. I live for these moments. He can't take them from me. I mean, not that I'm mad he's been good down. No, but I want to be the better parent. I want, and I got the cookies. What their nicknames? Pajamas? When they're older, they'll appreciate what I did for them. They'll, when they have children, they'll reflect on all the things mother did. But that's just such a long time away. I want, I want, I want the credit now. I feel like I need the validation to make, to keep going, to make sure I'm going in the right direction. When you're a parent, it's the truth and you know it. If not, you're lying to yourself.